Any problems in surgery? Nope. Just one day ago, Johnny Escalero was on an operating table at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. He is the first patient on the West Coast to receive a breakthrough treatment for epilepsy. The graduating senior suffers from as many as 250 seizures a day. Most of the time, he remains conscious and knows exactly what's going on. It's really hard. You could hear the bones cracking and you like kind of twist a little and it hurts when you twist. The biggest concern is when he has a seizure overnight. Sometimes I stop breathing and sometimes I like change colors. 58% of sudden unexplained epilepsy deaths occur during sleep. Johnny's mom, Olga Espinoza, used to sleep in her son's bed, but now that he is a teenager, she reluctantly lets him sleep alone. I choose the room across him so I'd be able to hear him breathe, you know, at least and um, so I don't sleep. After years of sleepless nights, doctors have given Johnny and his mom hope in the form of this device just approved by the FDA this week. The Aspire SR was implanted in Johnny's chest. The device has a sensor attached. All day long it kind of monitors his heart rate. Studies have shown that more than 80% of people with epilepsy will have a rapid increase in their heart rate right before a seizure. When the heart rate increases, the device kicks on, stimulating a nerve. Which is a nerve in the neck that sends information up to the brain. And by stimulating this nerve off and on during the day, we can send information to the brain, change the way the brain works, and we can decrease seizures. After the procedure, Johnny and his mom went home and took a three-hour nap. It's the most uninterrupted sleep they say they've both had in years. We're so happy. We're, you, listen, I have the goosebumps that... Um, making a difference for him already. At Children's Hospital Los Angeles, Christine Lazar, CBS2 News.